We're Hayden and Erin, and we're on a mission to visit every country in the world. For the past two months, we've been exploring Aruba and Curaçao. Now it's time to visit the last of the ABC Islands, Bonaire. In order to enter Bonaire from Curaçao, you need to show a negative COVID test. And you'll need to fill out a health declaration form. With all our forms completed, we headed to the airport. We are the only people in the entire airport. Kinda creepy, not gonna lie. Nobody to be found. We boarded another teeny tiny prop plane for the short 20 minute flight from Curaçao to Bonaire, where we'll be spending the next month. On most mornings in Bonaire, we wake up early to get a dive in before work. Wakey, wakey. Mm. Time to wake up. 7 a.m., let's go. I don't want to be awake right now. It's time. Let's do it. First things first, we have to pack up all of our scuba gear that's been left out to dry. So we can get it wet again. It's raining. Oh, it's ready. We use this dive guide to figure out which site we're going to dive this morning. So basically we just drive until we find a spot to dive. <laughs> They're all labeled with little yellow rocks, painted rocks on the side of the road and you just pull up, get out, get in the water, and that's all it takes. It's pretty easy. That's why they call Bonaire the shore diving capital of the world. After locating the dive site, we just drive our car right up to the shoreline to park. It doesn't get any more convenient than this to go diving. Next, we have to set up all our gear and hit the water. Once underwater, we check in with each other often to make sure we're both doing okay and make a mental note about underwater landmarks, like this buoy and barrels, which will help us navigate back from the reef at the end of the dive. We also use natural landmarks, like this unique piece of coral that will tell us to turn here to get back to shore. Now it's time to descend deeper over the reef. Early in the morning, the fish are very active. We often see fish who are usually hiding during the day out and about on their morning stroll, like this glass-eyed sleeper. It's always exciting when we spot a new fish that we haven't seen before, like this tile fish. we spot a giant figure, motionless at the bottom of the reef. We got closer to investigate and found a giant six foot long tarpon, one of the great prehistoric hunters of the sea. We follow the tarpon a bit and all of a sudden, out of the darkness emerges a sunken ship, the Hilma Hooker. A bit spooky to pop out at you while on a dive. 
About 35 minutes into the dive, when our air is just about half gone, it's time to turn around. We were lucky enough to spot the sea turtle cruising around right at the end of our dive. We find the weirdly shaped piece of coral that we used as a marker on our entrance and we know to turn up towards the shore now. Before we can get out of the water, we need to spend three minutes doing a safety stop around five meters. Once we finish our safety stop, we can end our dive. If we navigated correctly, we should hopefully surface right in front of our car. Eh, close enough. Good diving today. Now it's time to go home, rinse all our gear, and Aaron's got to start work. Yay! Tough life here in Bonaire. Tough life. Just a wild donkey. No big deal. <laughs> How cool is that? When we get home, we have to thoroughly rinse out all of our gear so it's ready to go for our next dive. Well, this is the aftermath of cleaning everything. Basically the entire bathroom floor is covered. We got things hanging. Now it's time to get to work. What was the name of the dive we did today? Bad no idea. One thing I always do after a dive is make sure to log the dive. We love the Dive Log app, which Bluetooth connects right from our computers and it allows us to enter all the important information to track our dives. It's great to know our air consumption and you can include any notes about the dives as well. We love entering the exact coordinates to see a full world map of each dive location we've been to. My favorite part is tracking all the marine life that we saw during the dive. And I use this digital Caribbean reef life book to identify new fish as we dive more. After finishing up with a long day of work, it's time to end our day with some dinner. Today we're at a restaurant called Metza, which is like a Mediterranean type uh, restaurant. So we're starting off with the hummus and a homemade pita bread. A, I love hummus. B, that is super fresh, super delicious. Tons of great spices on there. Really packed full of flavor. That's gonna be gone in seconds. I'm about to try the falafel and hummus, which the hummus that we got originally was fantastic, so I'm expecting nothing less here. There's just so much flavor in there. Not even just the hummus, like the falafel. There's just so much flavor and spices and just taste, and you're just going all over the place with the journey. It's fantastic. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the rest of our Bon Air series. It's the only cactus liqueur in the world. Yeah, I got a little friend. Oh, and fried plantains. All really fresh, all really delicious, and just the flavors are incredible. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Can I just be friends? You can be my friends. Hi. Oops, put your donkeys in here. <laughs> So I'm obsessed with grape leaves, stuffed grape leaves. There should be like rice in here and maybe some other things. I'm obsessed with 
it's almost. It's got like rice and stuff in there. Okay. 